If you live in California and you'd like to buy a triplex for 40 G's out of your pocket, a triplex that brings in $2,600 a month, you should probably watch this video. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. I'm going to help folks like you, folks like my man Adon. An auto tech from California, right? You don't have to be fancy suit and tie motherfucker to be a real estate investor. Nah, you can fix some motherfucking cars, man. You could do business in a t-shirt with a big ass beard, right? It's what you could do, right? Everybody thinks you got to be this suave spoon in the mouth, silver spoon in the mouth, some bitch to invest in real estate. Not the case, man. It can be done by blue collar folks, right? So... A lot of folks from California, like my man Adon, you guys come to me, right? You come to Holton Wise because we are tapped into the low cost of living markets in the U.S., right? California, that ain't it, right? That's not, that's, that's the opposite of low cost of living markets, right? So what uh, Adon did, right? He's looking to build a multifamily portfolio, right? And he found this property in Cleveland. Cleveland is where we are experts, okay? Sold over $200 million worth of investment properties, just like the one we're going to look at later in today's show, okay? Over $200 million worth of that. And my team, we handle property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, title work. I don't know if I left anything out. If I did and you need it and it involves fucking real estate in Cleveland, I'm sure we do it, right? We're the one-stop shop, okay? But before we could do any of that for you, before we could get into any of that for you, we break down the deals, show you information about the market, about the business, about how things are going to go, right? I started the show talking about you're able to get 2600 in rent. All you got to do is spend forty grand. That sounds great to everybody. Everybody who understands math is like, dude, that's awesome. But we got to talk about the pros, the cons, the risks, right? So Adon doesn't just jump on this property because he saw it and the price makes sense. No, no, no. He sent it to me so I could break it down so you understand exactly what you're getting. And that's exactly what I'm going to do after this quick break. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. 3308 dash 3310 Woodbridge. All right. Just hit the market three days ago. You got to move quick. You got to move quick on this one, right? Stupid cheap, man. As a matter of fact, we're going to move quick. Number one. Number two, I think we're going to have to go 10 grand over what they're asking. 149.9 is what they are asking for this. I think 160. 160 is what it's going to take to take this down. The reason it's still available is because the seller has got to be just fielding bids, driving up that price, right? Because the rent roll, the market rent, the neighborhood, 150, it's just not competitive, dude. There's no way you're taking this down at 150. What we have, okay, we got a duplex and we got a single family all on the same lot. Now, these photos were taken prior to the tenants being placed in the property, all right? So it's currently fully occupied, and they're getting close to market rent, uh, or they're getting market rent actually on two of the three units. The fourth unit, they are not getting in market rent. So I'm assuming uh, that was the oldest unit. Before I even show you the rent roll, though, why I have the photos up, I want to talk about the basement here, right? Because this is the expensive stuff, okay? This furnace looks to be fairly new, okay? Fairly new furnace, just so everybody's aware. Furnaces! They typically last about 30 years, and they cost about 3000 installed, all right? Next to it, you see a hot water tank. They cost about a grand to install, and they last about 15 years, okay? And obviously, you see the building materials, so it's pretty clear that these photos were all taken uh, during their renovation. Another furnace, another hot water tank, same age as they appear to be, okay? All right, it's just some stuff of the attic. Now, the current rent roll. The two duplex units, the two ones, they got them at seven fifty dollars apiece, right? So I'm assuming they fixed it up a little bit from those photos we saw, right? 
And then the house in the back, that's actually a four one, and they're getting less rent. They're getting six seventy five, right? And that's why it's important to pay attention to the market rents of things, right? Because the market rents, they hit them right on the head with those uh, duplex units, right? Now, as far as the house in the back, that's a four one, dude. This is a great Section Eight neighborhood. Normally, we're pulling down like eleven hundo for that, right? So that's two thousand six hundred dollars a month, is what you should get over the long haul. Now. You don't get to keep it all, right? You, spend, you get about $2,600 a month that's supposed to come in on an average month, but you got to factor in fixed and variable expense estimates, leaving you with a monthly NOI average, $1,485.33. Now, this is where the forty k comes in, right? You only got to spend forty k to get that $2,600 in rent, right? You don't have to spend... 160k out of your pocket. That's why real estate kicks ass, right? You put in a quarter, the bank puts in three quarters. So you put in 40, bank's gonna loan you 120, and them fucking tenants are gonna pay off the bank for you. How fucking great is that? This is goddamn America. That's why real estate is sweet, right? Now, even paying 10 G's more, the numbers they pencil out to a 29 and a half percent cash on cash return or an 11.1 cap. That's why people from all over the U.S. of A. Come to markets like Cleveland. You can't get these kind of numbers in California. You can't get these kind of numbers in Chicago. You can't get these kind of numbers in, uh, I don't know, where else is expensive? New York, Denver, right? Can't do it. You can do it here in Cleveland, though. Now, it's not all about the numbers, though, right? We have to talk about the risks, about how things actually play out in the real world, right? Anybody who's anybody looks at 29.5% cash on cash return, they're like, duh, it's fucking sweet. Obviously, it's fucking sweet, right? But it's going to be a little bit of work to get there, okay? Now, we got two units at market rent, right? I gave you uh, an estimate of 1100 for market rent for that house, but remember, we're only getting 675 right now, all right? It's not just like you buy it and it magically goes up. No, 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 right? Let me talk to you about the neighborhood. This is a DC grade neighborhood, okay? DC grade neighborhood. What that means, it's got a little bit of risk to it, all right? Evictions, people not paying rent, crime. All things you're going to deal with if you invest in a neighborhood like this. There's a fuck ton of low income, high risk neighborhoods like this in and around Cleveland. I happen to think this one is the smartest play, though. Why? Because this right here, this is Metro Health, all right? It's a big old hospital. Okay, this hospital has committed a billion dollars to their campus and the surrounding neighborhood. This right here is the house right down the street. Okay, you're right friggin' there, dude. Take you two seconds to walk your dog to the hospital. You got a little cold, right? So they're going to inject a billion dollars into this neighborhood, right? So if I'm going to invest in a higher risk neighborhood in a market, I'm picking the one that's got a billion dollars coming into it on top of that. There's more, right? We are bordering Tremont, Ohio City, downtown, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater. Those are the neighborhoods in Cleveland that have gentrified. Those are the neighborhoods in Cleveland where you hear about the resurgence of Cleveland. You know, people write articles, Google that, Cleveland resurgence, right? All that fancy stuff they're talking about, these are the neighborhoods that's happening, right? And then you got Lake Erie. So you're right by Lake Erie. You're right by gentrification. And you got a billion-dollar injection coming in. That makes this, in my opinion, a smart long-term play. Now, as far as dealing with the levels of risk that we are currently experiencing in neighborhoods like this, what I like to do is rent out my units to Section 8 tenants. Now, none of the tenants in this building currently are Section 8, right? But Section 8's the way you want to go in the future. So don't focus too much attention on exactly what's happening with your three tenants right now because those three tenants right now are going to be relatively irrelevant over your entire course of ownership. If you're looking at this over a 30-year loan, which is the financing you're going to want to get on this, man, that's a 360-month ownership term right there. What's currently being done right now, fairly irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. As far as that tenant paying 675 I would slowly increase their rent up, right? I would go slowly because if they move out, you're going to have to do a unit turnover. After you do the unit turnover, you know, fix it up, make it nice, yeah, We'll be able to get a Section 8 tenant in there at 1100 no problem, right? But why spend 10 15 k right now when somebody's already paying rent and it's still cash flows, right? Keep that money coming in as long as you possibly can, right? You're going to get enough turnovers 
in your career dealing with investments like this, dealing with multifamily investments in, in low-income neighborhoods, right? You're never going to be at a shortage of turnovers during your real estate career uh, ever. It's just not going to be something you're like, man, I really wish I could do a turnover renovation this week, right? You're going to be dealing with those quite a bit during your career. Don't be dumb. Don't be greedy. Don't create additional ones because the way it's going to shake out is it's going to be you sending more money to Cleveland than Cleveland sending more money back to you where you live. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.